a blessed day and welcome this morning we will be meditating from the book of matthew chapter 12 and verse 9 going on from that place he went into the synagogue in the previous verses we see the pharisees were eager to catch jesus doing something unlawful so that they could discredit him they confronted jesus about his disciples plucking and eating heads of grain as they walked through the field on the sabbath the pharisees insisted this was work harvesting and a violation of the fourth of the 10 commandments the year was 1920 the scene was examining broad for selecting missionaries standing before the board was a young man named oswell smith one dream dominated his heart he wanted to be a missionary over and over again he prayed lord i want to go as a missionary for you open a door for service for me now at last his prayer would be answered when the examination was over the board turned oswell smith down he did not meet their qualifications he failed the test oswell smith had set his direction but now life gave him a detour what would he do as oswald smith prayed god planted another idea in his heart if he could not go as a missionary he would build a church which could send out missionaries and that is what he did oswald smith pastored the people's church in toronto canada which sent out more missionaries than any other church at that time oswald smith brought god into the situation and god transformed his detour into a main thoroughfare of service a great lesson we learn today is that in spite of the threats accusations and being misunderstood Jesus never threw in the towel or gave up. Precious ones, we may face discouragement at various levels in life. With family, at work, relatives and even ministry. But the most important thing we need to do is to look at the lesson and keep moving on without allowing discouragements to control our lives and dictate our well-being let us pray heavenly father help me to trust you completely knowing that you are in control and never give up no matter the magnitude of the challenge for i am certain you will see me through in jesus name i pray amen shalom maranatha